1937, the Messerschmitt Development Department started to work on Project 1061, a long-range bomber aircraft. The German Air Force issued a requirement with a range of at least 12,000 kilometers to reach from French bases to the United States in anticipating of coming war with the United States. The initial requirement was at least a 5,000 kg bomb load to be carried in an internal bomb bay, smaller bombs to be carried externally on underwing pylons. In early 1941, Messerschmitt received an order to build six prototype Project 1061 aircraft, which were given the designation ME-264. If the aircraft proved capable, a further 24 aircraft were to be built for harassing attacks against the United States. Not only were New Jersey and New York in the US within range, but also targets in Ohio, Pennsylvania and even Indiana. In addition, there were plans to station some Me-264s on Japanese bases on islands northeast of the Philippines to fly reconnaissance missions as far as Australia and India. On January 22, 1941, the general staff of the Luftwaffe demanded a long-range aircraft also for the submarine war. Because of its over-optimistic performance, the general staff chose the ME-264 as the best choice. By mid-July of 1942, three ME-264 prototypes were being constructed. It was hoped that the ME-264 V-1 could be ready for flying test by October 1942, but again this was optimistic due to delayed and sometimes missing components deliveries. By the end of August 1942 it was obvious that the October maiden flight could not be attained because of the excessive delay of the main landing gear. The general skepticism was creeping in concerning the numerous delays in getting the first ME-264 in the air. Meanwhile, the construction of the first prototype V-1 was progressing very slowly at Augsburg. At last, on December 23, 1942, the ME-264 V-1 was ready for its first test flight, which lasted only 22 minutes. The ME-264 V-1 had a very clean, all-metal fuselage with a circular cross-section throughout. Just behind the extensively glazed nose and cockpit was a crew rest area and walkway to the rear of the plane above the lower and closed bomb bay. The wings were shoulder-mounted, slightly swept back. During the flying test in 1943, the fate of the ME-264 still hung in the balance. A teletype message reached Willy Messerschmitt in May 1943, stating that the ME-264 should be abandoned. This caused some astonishment, because just a week earlier, the general staff had insisted upon the completion of the ME-264 prototypes. In June 1943, Messerschmitt contacted Hitler to inform him on how well the ME-264 development was progressing, hoping that Hitler would intervene on his behalf. On July 8, 1943, at a meeting in the Supreme Headquarters, Hitler promised his support for the continued production of the ME-264 to Messerschmitt, but only for maritime uses. At the same time, he dropped his decision to bomb the east coast of the United States because the few aircraft that could get through would only provoke the populace of resistance. Only one day later, it was decided to continue the construction of the three ME-264 prototypes for the purpose of studies only. According to Messerschmitt, the components for the first fry prototypes were completed, but he lacked the necessary space and facilities in which to construct them. On July 18, 1944, the only ME-264 prototype was destroyed in an air raid along with the assembled components of the following two prototypes and 80% of the production facilities. 
although numerous attempts were made to save the ME-264 program, Admiral Donitz got Hitler to agree on September 23, 1944, that all work on the ME-264 project should be stopped. Less than a month later, in October 1944, an unmistakable directive was received. The Reismeister Technical Order No. 2 stated, the production of the ME-264 is herewith cancelled. This confirmed the end of the eight-year development program that led to only one test aircraft that was far from being operationally ready. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.